Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms. And today I want to try to look at an issue I'm having with my lawnmower. This is a John Deere 652R Quick Track Stand On Mower. I love the mower. It's been fantastic. A lot of people give me a hard time about why would I pick a stand on mower. I think they're better than sit down mowers. That's my opinion and a topic for another video. But I recently did a video on the Megmo mower blades that's been getting a lot of attention and a lot of comments. I think they are a fantastic design that's really unique. And I'm trying to do a real thorough test on those blades, but the manufacturer says that you should not run with your mulching flap closed. Those are a side discharge only blade. And I can see why that makes sense. This mower has an electronic mulch on demand that's worked fantastic the whole time I've had it, which is about a year. I love that feature, being able to open and close it with the push of a button. But the day I put the Megmo blades on, I went out to do the test and I hit the open button so I could discharge and it wouldn't open. It would open about half the way and stop. And I've been super busy and just haven't had time to take a look at it. So today I'm gonna lift the mower up I'm going to look at how that mechanism works, see if I can figure out why it's stuck, if it's physically stuck, or if it's a problem with the actuator, and see if I can get it working. If I can't get it working, it is a new mower that's less than a year old and still under warranty, so I can always take it up and have it fixed that way, but I'd rather just get it done today. So I'm going to lift the mower up with my tractor and support it with concrete blocks. Now. People have been giving me all kinds of crap for using my tractor as a mower lift. Seems like a great plan to me. I mean, it's already here. There's hooks directly on the frame that you can put a chain through, just lift it up. And then I do put blocks under it so it, if the loader sags, it's not gonna come down on me. So I feel like I'm doing it in a safe way. Everyone else seems to think I should be mo using a mower lift. So. Give me your opinion in the comments. What kind of mower lift should I get? I know they've got the kinds that have the blocks that go under the front wheels and then it's a, it's a pump style jack. Then there's the kind that are basically a big lever you put under and just crank it back. Give me your recommendations and I'll look into maybe doing a comparison of some different mower jacks on the channel. But for now I've talked enough. Let's get this thing up in the air and see what the issue is. I've got blocks under the mower, so if the loader dropped, it's still on blocks. If the blocks fell out right now, the loader would catch it. So I feel like I've got kind of a backup system, and it's easy to do. So right here is the button for mulch or side discharge. When you push that button, you have an actuator right here that rotates. This actuator seems to be getting quite a bit of travel, but here's what's happening with the flap. There's a lot of grass built up in here and stuff, but I've cleaned that out once since this problem started. But we're gonna clean it out again and check everything out. Okay, go ahead. Okay, stop for a minute. All right. So what we've got here, your actuator comes from up here. Actually, the actuator, the actuator that you can see turning is right here. It should be pushing that open, and it should also be moving this chute right here, and this chute right here and nothing is moving except that 
the the actual discharge chutes moving a little bit these aren't moving at all so let's see if we can get some wd-40 in there and dissolve the kind of the build up there and then hit it with some uh actual lubricant and then i think there's grease points up above this that we can check yep. So while that WD-40 is dripping, I'm going to get the grease gun and, and see if I can hit the grease points from above. Battery powered, DeWalt, grease gun, lock and lube. It's the way to go. So there's one grease zerk on this end. I assumed there was one on all three of the chutes, but I don't see one yet on the other two. Okay, this is not in a bind really, because it will wiggle. So let's see if the other end's in a bind. So this is not completely in a bind. It's got some wiggle to it, but I just realized is that right now it's in the closed position. This is supposed to swing backward. It looks to me like this curve right here should be on the other side of this plate so that when you open it, it swings back this way. So somehow this has jumped over there. I think when I had the mower lifted, I got this popped on the wrong side of this plate. And if I take these three nuts loose, I can get it back where it goes. All right. All right. Try to actuate it. All the way. and then leave it. Okay. Yeah, but I think this rod got bent for me having it in a bind. Now, open and close it again. Okay, hand me that spray lube, open it, Hand me the spray lube, I'm gonna spray it down, and then we'll close it and I'll spray it, and then this job's done. Okay, close it. So when I started recording this video 15 minutes ago, the purpose of the video was to talk about the failure of my electronic mulch on demand and whether it was a indictment of the system or just a fluke thing or what. Turns out it was completely my fault. What happened was I lifted the mower up to put those Megmo blades on. I slid two concrete blocks under the deck to protect it from falling on me. Whenever it got pressure on those blocks, I didn't place them well enough. I was actually working in the dark, which was stupid to begin with, but I had the, the block too far up under there. One of them pushed on that mulching flap and shoved it onto the wrong side of another deck component. So when it tried to open, it was up against, you know, a solid piece of metal. So there was no way for it to function. And it slightly bent one of the rods. I straightened it out. Hopefully that continues to work. But the takeaway that I have from this video is that when someone gives you criticism or feedback or advice, always listen to it completely before you make up your mind. So when I bought the mower, it's got these heavy duty rings bolted to the frame that seem like a perfect point for lifting it with. And I thought, wow, with the tractor and that, I've got a, 
a good way to lift my mowers. And I've been doing it that way for a year now with both mowers. Then I had a whole bunch of people tell me I should get a mower jack. And I'm like, I don't need it. And I actually argued with a couple people in the comments. And looks like I should have taken their advice. So now I'm in the market for a mower jack. If you have a certain kind that you think is better than another kind, let me know in the comments. I might try to show some on the channel. So now I can give a better review on these Megmo blades because the deck's functioning properly. And maybe in the future I'll try to listen a little better to the people commenting on the videos. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. In just a minute you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.